I said no. Um, Claude Davis said no. Damian Stewart said no. Donovan Ricketts said no. So because we said no, you know what happened to us? The next game, after that game, we got kicked out the squad. I've never played for Jamaica again. Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Yeah. Greetings sports fans, happy new year and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Following the leaked audio of match fees negotiation between Damian Lowe and the members of the JFF hierarchy for the team's two international friendly matches against Saudi Arabia in November 2020, which we have posted on our channel and the link will be provided in this section below. If you have not yet heard the audio, it was posted and you can just pause this video, go check it out and come right back. There has been plenty of reactions to the release and your favorite analysts are here to just provide you with feedback on the latest development. We would love for you to be part of the DTM family by following this, this simple step. One, click on the subscribe button below, hit the, not hit the notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as a video is uploaded. There has been a lot of reactions to the leaked audio, none more so than former reggae boy, Ricardo Fuller, who has mentioned that in previous negotiation with the JFF, they have even questioned or asked that his image rights be handed over to them. This is what Fuller had to say. Our image rights. So if we did um, some commercial with, um, say, Juicy Beef, I did a commercial with Juicy Beef, and Juicy Beef wanted to pay me five thousand US dollars for that that, that, that that commercial. It belongs to the JFN. I said no. Um, Claude Davis said no. Damian Stewart said no. Donovan Ricketts said no. So because we said no, you know what happened to us? The next game, after that game. We got kicked out the squad. I've never played for Jamaica again. Having heard both audios, that of Damian Lowe, which we would have posted, and that of Ricardo Fuller, and Fuller mentioning images, image rights, image rights. Fuller speaking about image rights, after having a discussion with JFF, they wanted funds from his image rights, and him said no. And from that day, he has never played for the reggae boys again. So having heard Lowe's audio, do you think, analysts, that Lowe will face the same fate? Brocky. Yes, um, Kurt. Um, well, um, first of all, the, the, the Lowe um, voice notes are quite shocking in terms of what has been said, the interactions, um, the, the entire display. Um, Obviously, it it is something that is that stands out on its own, and um, pretty much um, it's quite um, embarrassing as far as I'm concerned. Um, but Ricardo Fuller has said something that has been whispered around in a lot of circles in terms of how exactly players are treated, um, how um, money money matters are dealt with, and these are all allegations, of course, um, because of the J it would be good to hear the JFS side on this. But it doesn't sound good. Um, and we know from before that the JFF already has its financial challenges. But you wonder, you, you just wonder if it is that um, Damien Lowe will face a similar fate as Ricardo Fuller and company. Ray, would you be surprised if Lowe is faced with the same fate? No, I, I wouldn't be surprised. However, um, I would love the nation to take note of something like that and to see if there is any form of victimization on JFF, JFF Pat and, um, and, and Mr. Lowe, you know, that would would uh, stand up for him in that case. So, but once again, I wouldn't be surprised if they do, but we are watching. And his only poor form should keep him out of the team and nothing else really. Um, I, do, I don't think I'll be surprised. Um, it's something that has been happening for years now. If, if one would believe what Fuller is saying, 
the, there has been issues with the JFF um, as it relates to money from all this time, um, contract negotiations and all of that. And it, it might be a case where some punishment is laid down. The president, Ricketts, had said that he was pretty much devastated and shocked about the, the fact that the recordings were, was carried out, the fact that it was recorded. Um, felt betrayed. He, yeah, he felt betrayed and upset. So I think Lowe should be missing a few games. <laughs> should be. But well, you got, uh, we, there are two things coming out of that recording from Ricardo Fuller. Image rights is one of them and the treatment of the JFF. But do you think the JFF should have some percentage of a player image rights? No, I don't think the JFF should have some um, percentage of the, the If they're using the JFF, then fine. Mm -hmm. You understand? But if they're not using the JFF and they're using their image rights, so, you know, you don't see, if you, do, if you look at other sports, you don't see the NBA asking for image rights for Nike, for LeBron and, and all these players. Uh-uh. You know, if they're using the JFF, then fine. Football Federation, then you can say you can have some percentage. Uh, with, with low now, um, you see, there is a lot of, when I was watching the, the reggae boys coming up, there was a lot of rumors coming up. I hear a rumor about Andy Williams too. Um, he signed for, when the Jamaica reached a World Cup, he signed his first um, um, overseas contract. And it said that he was told not to sign a contract. And when he signed the contract, he didn't get the game because if you watch that World Cup, 98 World Cup, Andy Williams never played none at all. He was on the bench and it was like, and the, because he signed and, a contract. And, to, and be clear, Tiga, this is a rumor. It's yeah, either it was allegations. A rumor. Yeah, yeah. Alleged. Yes, it was, yeah, that's what I said. Rumors. <laughs> So JFF is good for oh, doing boy. these things, you know. Good for doing this. So let's see and see what they're going to do with uh with with with, with Mr. Lowe. You understand? They're good for doing these things. But as you talk about image rights, Brocky, and the, the fact that the JFF is trapped for cash, wouldn't wouldn't it be a good approach to to ask for a percentage of those image rights, considering that the players become popular because of your system that you've provided for them to, to no, use, no, no. essentially. Yeah, so the, the, the truth is, Kurt, um, the, the national team provider an excellent platform for players to strut their skills and to actually boost their commercial ability. So um, providing that option would um, allow these players to actually earn and probably the JFA for a national association would want to have a piece of that pie. But obviously um, the players um, and maybe not just the players alone, there's a, a lot of distrust between the players and the association in that they don't feel like they're getting as much as they're giving. And as such, um, um, while it is that they would be inclined to um, give a percentage of their portion They'd want to know, is that percentage going to player development? Is it going to the local player specifically? Is it going to a specific cause rather than actually just being thrown in a pool of funds for which they have no control over? Well, um, Adrian, I must say that if the GFF is going to want image rights, what about the club, the local club that the footballer is coming from, that grow them from the under 15 the under 17 and uh, before they reach national pro. Well, 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 well Tiga, the, the, the truth is that you know, if you had a properly functioning um, JFF and club system, everybody would have gotten their share of the pie right down to um, the very small man who um, inputted in things. But the, 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 the problem that we have um, with the JFF and the football fraternity especially is that um, there is a certain lack of transparency in terms of how things are done. And the people, um, people feel that the money is only concentrated in a particular area and not um, trickled down properly across, whether rightly or wrongly so. Rocky, you mentioned that um, the players don't trust JFF. And apparently this is not just in Jamaica, but regionally. And, and, and Shaka Isla, the Trinidadian, mentioned that they had similar issues in Trinidad. So what is really 
the issue with the Caribbean. Yes, Kurt. So um, Shaka has put on the table another part in which he's saying um, that the JFFR and similar to Trinidad are acting like colonial um, uh, masters. They want to rule you. They want to tell you what to do. Um, they're calling the, the young man son. They call, they're looking down at him. They're belittling him. Um, they're trying to actually, in some people's word, being a bully, being um, quote unquote unprofessional and all of that. So therefore, they were pretty much acting like masters um, um, in, in the negotiation and not partners sitting at the table. And so Shaka is saying apparently this runs right across the Caribbean, not just in Jamaica, but also in Trinidad, which is a sad situation. Really, the president has said that there's nothing wrong with the conversation. Well, um, the, the funny thing is, you know, listening to the conversation, the mood was kind of set with how Low um, approached it. And, and based on how Low approached it, you should just follow suit. And, and, and realize that it's not so much an informal setting anymore. And as such, you, you try to have a, a, as best as possible a professional conversation with the parties involved. And that's what all was, was expected from the JFF in, the, in this regards. So I disagree. It, there was something wrong with it. It was unprofessional conduct by JFF. For America, I regard a full outlining discussion with JFF and how they've treated him in the past. And we want to hear from you if you think Damien Lowe will face the same fate. All right, so leave your comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, follow. Look out for more. Click the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as a new video is posted. Bless.